So during the heavy workload, the uh, not just the phrenic muscle and the external intercostal muscle, but abdominal muscles as well as internal intercostal muscles play a crucial role, and their role is in the process of expiration. So first of all, these muscles, abdominal muscle, and the internal intercostal muscle, they undergo contraction. So as they contract, it is a active process again. This contraction will decrease uh, decrease the volume of the chest cavity to a greater degree. That means more air will be expelled outside. So whenever extra air goes outside, this will be followed by inhalation of extra air by relaxation of the same muscles. So during uh, inspiration at the resting situation, the internal intercostal muscle and abdominal muscles are relaxed but uh, in the case of heavy workload abdominal muscle and internal intercostal muscle they undergo contraction and this contraction ensures more air goes outside so that more air may come inside more fresh air may come inside in the next step of inhalation so uh, remember during uh, the heavy workload these muscles play a crucial role otherwise these muscles play no role when the inspiration is of the normal type so uh, these muscles are situated let me show from the ncrt these muscles are situated in between the ribs towards the inside so because they are present towards the inside they once they contract they make this cavity become more smaller as well as the abdominal muscle present to a below the diaphragm when the when it undergoes contraction it will push the diaphragm even further towards the inside so as the th diaphragm is pushed more into the thoracic cavity the space will become even smaller so once the space becomes smaller the pressure increases more and because more pressure has increased so more air will be forced outside creating more space for the air to come inside in the next cycle of breathing in that means the inspiration so this is how breathing in the resting situation and breathing in the heavy workload is different significantly now uh, the next thing is there are two methods of breathing possible one method is called as thoracic breathing and the another method is called as the abdominal breathing so uh, the expansion and the contraction of thoracic cavity is in two direction vertical direction and the anterior posterior or you can say the lateral direction so we need to understand that uh, in the case of ladies or women thoracic breathing is more common when compared to the uh, to the men because in the case of men maximum breathing occurs because of the involvement of the abdominal activity so abdominal breathing is more common among uh, males when compared with the females in the case of female the breathing is more of uh, thoracic activity you would have noticed these things uh, with the daily activities also that uh, male are supposed to be breathing from their abdomen it's not like breathing from uh, the uh, abdomen it is because involvement of abdominal muscle is more so more contraction so that more air first goes outside and then more air will come inside because the type of activities males are involved are always heavy work duties and the breathing type which is found in the female is more of the thoracic one and we need to remember one more thing that ladies do undergo pregnancy situation during that situation also abdominal breathing is dangerous because that may put pressure on the developing baby inside that's why it is more thoracic breathing in the case of ladies because it is more safe to breathe through the thoracic muscles instead of the abdominal muscles that's why thoracic breathing is common among females compared to the uh, males now thoracic breathing in uh, women have more thoracic breathing that means more lateral movement and less amount of the phrenic movement but when we compare this with the male male have more of the later uh, involve less of the lateral movement 25% only movement of the thoracic uh, thorax or thoracic uh, muscles 
when compared with the movement because of the diaphragm because diaphragmic movement is 75% involved in the breathing so vertical movement is found more in the case of males now uh, the volumes is the next topic to discuss and we will do that in the next class